Yeah, no, not, not too, uh, not too bad. You know, a few bumps and bruises, a um, couple of corks and, and that sort of thing. But no, they'll be, uh, they'll be good to go. Right. Okay. Yeah, I think so. The physicality is going to go up a couple of notches. Uh, anything wide. Uh, they tend to have a crack at in terms of wide breakdown, so we've got to make sure any time we play with any width, we've got a really good connection at the breakdown and, uh, and good accuracy because there'll be, uh, there'll be plenty of bodies coming at us. Uh, very much. Uh, I've played against him since uh, 09, schoolboy, so I've uh, played a few good battles uh, over the years, and um, I look forward to it again. He's played some great rugby the last few years for the Chiefs, um, obviously winning the two um, championships with them, so uh, it's always a big test when I come up against it. Uh, massively, and you can see the quality of their side to beat you know, a great Blues outfit last weekend with uh, so many guys missing. So you know, for us, we know that the, uh, the game this weekend is going to be a huge step up for us, and you know, it's going to come down to the little things in the game and making sure that we get them right, because you know, there can be one or two things in the game that change it, you know, not for the better for us. I think it's uh, it's what we train for, you know, to have the ability to play it anywhere in the field uh, from 1 to 15 and not be limited by the number on our back. Um, and, and then you show we show that on the weekend, you know, guys uh, who are not necessarily uh, play out wide in the 15, showing some of the skill that they have, guys like Sam Carter, Scott Fardy, you know, Josh Manray down the sideline. So um, no, it's something we're trying to build and um, bring back to the Brumbies game, and uh, sort of Brumbies of old, I guess you can say. Yeah, uh, I think it's... Um, sort of how the draw has, has gone the last two years and um, no, I think it's something we look forward to. I think it's the, you know, and back in the day it used to be the Brumbies Crusaders and it seems to be Brumbies Chiefs and you know, nowadays the, the big Australian New Zealand fixture we look forward to. So um, uh, I guess, you know, it's, those, were, those were sort of lucky occasions where there was a final and, a, and an Anzac Day Pro, but we treat every game, you know, the same. You know, we're going to this game the same focus that we would have had last year as well. You know, we're going uh, to come out there with the win. You know, whether that be by 20 or one point, so, yeah. Hi, I'm James Dargaville from Sydney, and I've come down to Canberra to play rugby for the Brumbies. Uh, I started playing rugby for Newport Breakers on the Northern Beaches of Sydney. I was 12, I think, it was my first season. Um, well, I wanted to study, and I wanted to keep pursuing rugby, and uh, it would have been too difficult travelling in from Avalon to Sydney Uni and playing rugby as well, so... I was able to do both at Sydney Uni. You, do you surf or you grew up on the beach at Avalon? <laughs> I used to a lot more than I do now. Obviously, it makes it a bit tougher uh, living in town, but I, I used to. Not so much anymore. We've been down to check out the shore at Lake Taylor Griffin, <laughs> if there's any surf. <laughs> haven't been yet, no. I've uh, just taken the opportunity to uh, focus solely on rugby. It'll be very exciting for me. I haven't done that before. and looking to learn and develop as much as I possibly can under the year. I haven't really, to be honest, had much of a conversation with him. Um, he was overseas when uh, the signing was happening, so I haven't had a decent chat with him. I'll go up and have a chat with him now. Be good. Uh, who are some of the players you sort of have an eye on and you admire from the Brumbies? Oh, I love watching Spade and Tamani play. They're two exciting outside backs, and I'd love to learn how they do what they do. do you... uh, I run hard, tackle hard, and uh, I run good lines, and that's what I bring to the, at the moment but I'd just like to develop my ball playing and things like that which would be good under Larkin. Um, I was really into league growing up mainly, um, went for the Manly Seagulls and I, uh, I'd i never really picked a team to support, I just liked watching rugby so uh, when I started getting into that um, I guess I've always admired watching Gregan Larkin I loved Clyde Rathbone growing up, he was a bloody good player to watch and yeah, I've always loved the players over the